Kubra al-Hilali was born in Baghdad, Iraq, to a family of artists. My dad, he's an artist. All the people around us do art, music, uh, drawing, different things. And my sister, she's an artist too. All the family, they, was, they do a lot of different kind of art. And all the people around us. So I, I start to paint when I was maybe six years old. In 1996, her father, a poet, was forced to flee to Jordan and separate from Kubra and the family. They joined him there seven years later. So when the war, like American war, happened in Iraq in 2003, we left Iraq to Jordan. Kubra and her family lived in Jordan for almost a decade, but had to return to Iraq every six months to renew their visas. During this time, Kubra decided to return to Baghdad and enroll in art school. But it was a challenge. It was really dangerous there in 2006. It was a problem, like especially for the women too. It was hard to go to school and not wearing hijab and, uh, and study art. It was so hard. They don't accept it. Then tragedy struck. And last day I was there, it was like a big car bombing in the front door for the school. Two colleagues from her school were killed that day. Art school, it was really close to my grandma's house. And when they hear the bomb, my, my, my uncle, he was running with no shoes to the school to see, like, he, he think, like, I'm, I'm not there, so. He was run, running to school with no shoes, so that, and everybody called, my mom, she was calling. It was really hard, and there's a lot of uh, friends. We, we lost a lot of friends. So that's why I left school, back to Jordan again. All the while, Kubra's family was seeking asylum in the United States, and because a relative lived in Northeast Ohio, she and her family eventually moved to Cleveland. It was like a new, a new life for us. The Ohio humanitarian group, Us Together, helped Kubra and her family move to Parma and got her work as a seamstress. Us Together also helped Kubra pursue her passion. They helped me to do art show and to do mural, to do a lot of things, and also workshop for student. And then I, I have my studio, I got studio, and I do the art for full time, like a full time job. <music> Kubra's first art exhibition took place in 2015 at the Negative Space Art Gallery in downtown Cleveland. However, she realized those initial paintings were too challenging for her audience and for herself. It's painting of kids during the war, what the war do to the weather and do to the people. It was sad and I know it's, it's something really hard to show it to people, but it's like it's happened. There is a lot of kids, they dead or they, they are sick of, of, of the war. So, so we have to show it and, uh, and it, was, it was nice, but it was so hard to me to paint this and to be there front to my frame and, and front to the picture, the real picture I have to paint it. It was so hard. And I see what, like in 2003, I see what happened to there. So it's all in my memory or what can I do for, or just to show people, because I'm here so happy to be here in America. So I have to show people something, what happened there. Following the catharsis of that first exhibit, Kubra has moved on to broader and more hopeful themes. Because I'm Iraqi, so I have to show people we are, we like peace, we are, we love art. I have to show it to people. So I focus on calligraphy, Arabic calligraphy, and uh, like I, I, I'm not focusing on it, but I add it to my, to, 
to my art, to show where I'm from, and also to paint more things for life and uh, freedom and uh, peace, love. She's also found inspiration in University Circle at the Cleveland Museum of Art. Actually, the museum inspired me to do more work. And when I go there, I see myself there and I feel fresh and uh, I get more ideas, more things. So it's, it's my home. When I feel like I need to fresh myself, to go somewhere, it's really fun for me. and. It's beautiful to, to fresh my mind, see the work there, and I really love to be there. One of the works in the collection is of an ancient Iraqi guardian from the palace of an Assyrian king. Yes, I did cry, and my, my dad, he cried too. And it was very painful uh, because like the, it's, it's actually the history of Iraq. It's all around all the countries in the, all the world, not only in here. So I'm happy to see it here, but it's, uh, it's painful. There is actually a lot of our history there in Cleveland Museum, and it's really reminds me of home.